Turn to your left or your right. And ask that neighbor who is watching you. Quickly, ask that neighbor who's watching you. Are you watching your back? Who's got your back? Who's watching you? Quickly turn your Bible to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 to 12. And if you can, help me stand for the reading of the word, everybody. It's a pretty short scripture, so everybody stand. Let's read the word. Ephesians 6, 11 to 12. Ephesians 6, 11 to 12. And the Bible says, put on the full armor of God. Take me to the New King James Version. Put on the full or the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on the whole armor of God. Not part, not pieces, but the whole. Everything armor of God that you... Wait, it says maybe, not will be. It's not guaranteed. The capacity that you can withhold depends on the word of God that's inside of you. So you can put it on, but if you don't have adequate word of God inside of you, that's why he said maybe. So you can come to church and be the first to clap your hands, be the first to jump and dance. Be the first to quote scriptures, but if you're empty inside, maybe. So he didn't say put on the whole armor of God that you will be. No, he's not taking responsibility. Because there are folks still in church, but still under a curse. So he's saying that the fact that you are in church does not mean that you are automatically out of that curse. Until revelation has been revealed to you. You can be at the airport. But if you don't have a passport. You cannot fly. If you don't have a ticket. You ain't flying. Perhaps you are seeing somebody off. So it's not everybody that at, is at the airport. That is flying out. That's why he said maybe. It's not everybody at church that's ready to receive. If I, if I was to get a lie detector test, I would find out those who are really here just to hear the word of God. Or those who are here just to lift their hands and worship God. Or those who are simply here because they're grateful to God. So he says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Then he goes further to say, because you and I wrestle not against flesh and blood. You, I keep saying it here. If you can see or point out that enemy, then that's not the enemy. I kid you not. If you can point them out like, hey, yo, no, no. If you can touch that person, then that's not the enemy. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Then he gives us the opportunity to know what and who we're wrestling, wrestling against. But against principalities. Do you know who a principality is? Ancients of ages. They, they are there. They've been in that bloodline for a long time. You are here for only 50, 60, 70 years. They've been there 200 years principalities huh. you can choose to be a Christian you can choose to be a Hindu you can choose to be a Muslim they're still principality they, they, they have your entire household under siege principalities they have a checklist of whoever comes in and comes out. They have their set light on you. They have their eyes on you. Principalities. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers. Ha! Powers! Do not miss. So the enemy also has power. The devil also carry power. But against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of darkness of this age. I explained to you the other time that if the apostle was writing it in 1829, he meant this age. And if you're reading it in 2019, it still reads this age. <laughs> Spiritual host of wickedness. You speak better English so you understand what wickedness is. Spiritual host. Not one, not individual. Spiritual host. They come in twelves, in dozens. They come as battalions. Spiritual host of wickedness. In heavenly places. In the different realms. Host of wickedness. Evil. Ev wickedness. They will kill you without considering. They will destroy you without thinking. They will, they will finish you without empathy or sympathy. Wickedness. They have no level. They don't have the heart. They are heartless. Tonight God will deliver you from such people. The one that shouts the loudest amen. I see... God delivering you in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's why I've stopped fighting people I can see. I'm more silent now than I used to be because I've discovered that those who are approaching me, fighting me, are not the real enemies. The real enemies are from my father's household. Come on now. They're from my mother's household. So I, if the devil uses you to attack me, I'm too wise to know that you're not the one behind it. So I keep still to watch God do what he has to do. Because he is the alpha and omega. The beginning and the end. So he knows my end before my beginning began. That's why I depend on him. Because man will fail you. Man will let you down. Man has issues just as you have your own problems. But with God. When God got your back, nobody can take your back from you. And I see God protecting you in the month of August in the name of Jesus. And so I titled my message tonight, Monitoring the Monitor. Monitoring the Monitor. And how I receive my messages are strange. God takes me through a, a trance and then bang, it hits me. It hits me and it's like a screen and I begin to write. But I wonder how the FBI felt when they discovered that somebody had discovered or invented CCTV. I wonder how that the FBI would feel or how they felt that somebody had finally discovered the CCTV. It was a major breakthrough. The discovering of CCTV was a major breakthrough. Big breakthrough because as until then, crimes, they were struggling to resolve crimes because they were not there. And when you're not there, you have to imagine scenarios. But when you're there, you can tell. Even with you there, your, it's your word against my word. But if you've been captured... then there is no amount of lies that can take you out of what the physical eye can see. So I wonder what the cops or the FBI's 
would say or said when they discovered that CCTV has been invented. Because all it had to take them is sit in the office and click a button and then it will replay. They'll begin to see how it happened, who was innocent, who was not innocent, who really did the worst and who stepped back and then they will be able to pass judgment according to crimes. So the CCTV did and has done the FBI's good because they're able to make accurate decision based on what the eyes cannot deny. Some of these CCTVs or cameras are able to record for days and hours, years, depending on how expensive it is. So these cameras that have been invented can record a whole year, a whole day. Literally, all they have to do is type in the day, the date, and the time, and then it will reveal what happened in that area. That day, that date, and that time. Uh, a few years ago, myself and my wife, we invested in a nursery. And um, um, one of the things I was very careful about was um, um, security for the children. So we got this young man to set up cameras everywhere, every corner, because I'm very particular about security and children. And then we got robbed in the nursery. We got robbed. Like, they, whoever robbed <laughs> had time to rob. That's number one. Because the heaviest TV that was on the second floor, right? The heaviest TV. It was an old school TV. Not the plasma that you can literally put on your shoulder. No. It was an old school TV. The heaviest TV was even stolen. And you've got to at least descend down on about 67 different staircases. Okay. They took everything in the nursery. Everything in the nursery. So I was like, no problem. That's okay. We got the CCTV. So we go on the CCTV in the nursery. And here's the bad news. Everything that was captured was deleted. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to know that whoever set it up, a local, I didn't mention any name. We actually carried the whole machine to a specialist who can decode anything. He looked at it, he said, no. Mm. This one is an inside job. <laughs> he, said, he said, boss, this one is an inside job. Whoever did it knew what they were doing. I haven't mentioned any name. But the police couldn't get no evidence. They could only come and take notes, but they asked us, where is the camera? We showed him wherever. He said, where is the Memory card, it was gone. The owner took it. <laughs> I mean, the owner of the CCTV took it. So that, that camera failed. It didn't work. Because whoever was behind it, obviously, has been there before. Now, in a lot of developed countries... It is mandatory that you place CCTVs on roads, on streets, everywhere you go, even on, on every traffic light, there must be CCTVs. Because most of you who overspeed, the CCTV must keep you in check. It doesn't happen here a lot, but in London, you would speed and then you would hear pop, pop. And you'd wonder what that was. No, it was a camera that took your picture. Yeah. And, or you'll be at home and you'll receive a letter. Yeah. And there's an envelope. Once you see that envelope, 
You know where it's coming from. And if you try to deny that it was not you and say, no, I was not there, they will show you a picture of your car on that road, on that street, at that time, that you have no choice than to find money and go pay or you'll be taken to court. <laughs> so now, armed robbers are smarter. Before they go on a, a robbery um, spree, they have to, first of all, check the area and see which CCTV is effective because they don't want to be exposed or they have to do put extra effort in disguising themselves because once they are captured on screen and these CCTVs are so sharp, they can capture just your eye and bring your whole image out. Years ago, these cameras and CCTVs were loud, but now we have sophisticated ones that are quiet, little, but effective. Years ago, they were very, very, very um, obvious. You could see them there, but in this generation, things, the gadgets are getting better and better, and if you don't take care, you might be taken by surprise. Now, apart from the streets and the roads, um, and these CCTVs do help in, in keeping or maintaining the traffic. Now, homes are embracing cameras. There are a lot of things we're seeing on social media now on how somebody maltreated a child based on a hidden camera. Can you imagine before this was invented how many children or kids had been abused that nobody could see and the children could not talk. But after these computers came out and these um, cameras came out, crimes are reduced. And so a lot of homes are embracing the system because it works. In some of the homes, you can literally be in, in Africa and open the doors from your mobile phone. Like now when Imani is going inside the house, I'll be in the office, but I'll still open the door and we will chat. Like I'll look at her and she'll look at me and say, hi, daddy, I'm going in. And then and I'll open the door and lock the door from my phone. Modern world. Modern world. Is it not interesting? So these cameras are are being upgraded. They're getting better and better every year, every time, because technology is changing. Hmm. I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, the same principle that works and is being operated with physically is the same principle that works in the spiritual realm. The same thing that I've told you about is the same principle that works in the spiritual realm. What do I mean? Just as there is somebody behind the monitors watching you on how you drive, there is also somebody behind the monitors in the spiritual realm monitoring you, watching your movement, watching everything you do, watching how you turn, watching what you do, watching where you go, watching when you eat. Oh, so the Bible says, he who watches over Israel, he neither sleeps nor slumbers. So at least, that's the first scripture. God is watching over us. But there are principalities and powers, rulers of darkness in this age, that as God is watching us, they are also watching us. You're not getting it. As God is protecting us, they are doing all they can to cause you to bring problems and trouble onto yourself. But tonight, anyone watching you, 
anyone monitoring you, anyone determined that you will fail, they will fail first in the name of Jesus. They will fail first in the name of Jesus. They will fail first in the name of Jesus. So the Bible says in Ephesians 6.12 that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. These principalities and powers are watching you, Caleb. They are from your father's grandmother's village. They are from your grandfather's grand. They are. From, they they know your name. They know the day and the date you were born. They were right there watching. They couldn't touch you because the angels were given charge over you at that time. But some of you have backslidden and given way for the enemy to set up his cameras, set up their videos, and they've been watching you. That is why you're failing. That is why you feel defeated. That is why you feel nothing is happening. But tonight in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that any monitoring spirit watching you, attempting to bring you down, let them fall, let them fail in the name of Jesus. Let them be defeated by the blood of the Lamb and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and they defeated him by the blood of the Lamb. Somebody shout Jesus five times. They're watching you. They're watching everything you do. When you go to bed, they watch you. When you when you wake up in the morning, they watch you. When you walk to church, they watch you. When you walk to work, they watch you. When you sit in the car, they watch you. When you get married, they watch you. Everything you are doing, they are monitoring you. Just as the CCTV is never switched off, their monitors is never switched off. That's why you must not switch your life off for the Bible says pray without season the more you pray the more you keep them at bay the more you pray the more you keep them at a distance you keep quiet they get closer you shut your mouth they get closer you waste your time on useless things they get closer you pray they move back you pray they step back you go quiet Oh, I've been praying. I've been fasting. No, you've been quiet. You've stopped praying that midnight prayer ever since God gave you that breakthrough. Now you're complaining. Now you're crying. You stopped praying that midnight prayer. You used to be a prayer warrior in the midnight shadada, rotobo, kedebehe, three, four, five hours. Now you can't even say, ha. Most of you come to church and you pretend you're praying because of the cameras. But the truth of the matter is when you're home, you don't pick up your Bibles. You can pretend before me, but in the spiritual realm, remember this, the more quiet you are, the closer. So the intensity of your battle is simply because they have monitored you to discover that you're too quiet. So they feel comfortable to get closer. The picture you are seeing, they are watching the house. They are timing it. They are watching. They are looking at what time the man leaves the house. They are looking at what time the woman sleeps. They are looking, watching. They have time. They are 
paid to sit, to monitor you, to watch you, to watch your children, to watch your destiny, to watch your health, to watch, watch, watch. Is it time to put in cancer? Watch the house. It's a house. Your body is a house. So they are watching. When would you switch the light off to go to bed so they can come in? Oh, they sleep around 12.30. So for one month, they've been monitoring for one month they've been watching on the screen it is spiritual don't get it it is spiritual are you not getting it the reason why they are coming in sevenfold is because they've been watching you for so long your victory is their defeat don't you get it when you are victorious and you are smiling they are weeping and crying when you are victorious and smiling they are being punished that why do you make them laugh why do you make them smile don't you get it oh oh i have a birthday birthday party coming and and you put a party together and and you invite the whole world and use money you never put on the altar that's what you will buy for the dress money you never put on the altar that's when you're gonna hire a hall money you never put on the altar that's where you buy stuff for useless people who don't like you anyway to come sit in your house and watch you and they were also watching your enemies were watching the devil was watching they were monitoring you on the screen and they realize that you have misplaced priority yes, God. Yes, God. There, there, there is a price tag on your head you if you don't value yourself they value you they know that if you are set free, you will liberate too many people. You, you're, you're not getting it. The enemy knows that if he gives you wealth, you will build orphanages for the homeless. If he gives you wealth, you will take care of the poor. So his job is to make sure the agents agents are monitoring you to remain poor so now your prayer topic has become a wish list it's not every wish list that santa gives you Your pray, your, 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 you now confess one day when I become rich, I will do this. Because you are not sure when you'll be wealthy. Because the strong man in the room is having sleepless nights over you. The one monitoring you on their screen, on their CCTV cannot sleep, cannot blink an eye because the last time they blinked their eye, you broke through. They almost lost their job. Don't you get it? So they, they, their eyes are opened monitoring you. Why do you think just as you're about to break through, something happened? It's because there are monitoring spirits monitoring your movement monitoring your walk why do you think you keep repeating the same history same pattern same family same household the same thing your grandfather went through is the same thing your father went through same thing you are going through it's not normal their computers are up but tonight in the name of Jesus Anyone that is monitored like host, sha ta 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 da da ghosha. Anyone monitoring you, anyone monitoring your destiny, let them catch fire. Let them catch fire in the name of Jesus. Go 
Mani or Rotokosha, turn me up. Nana Maka Paretefe. Oh, shut up. If you monitored my father, you can't touch me. If you monitored my mother, you cannot watch me. I will rise up. I will move forward. I will do it. I will do it because his banner is all over me. His blood has set me free. And the Bible says, He whom the Son has set free is free. Kosha Mekeninoho Elembrando Katadaba Nananama Toshada Ketatadaba Tonight I break their cameras Aretosha Atatata Konanama I cross their computers in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus he has given us power to trample over scorpions and serpents and they shall by no means harm you tonight I crush their head with the fire of the Holy Ghost somebody shall fire You can watch me, you can watch me, you can watch me, but I am activating that sound that you prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. But devil hear me, you can watch me, but there is a table being prepared for me. You can watch me, that you will watch my wedding. You can watch me, you will see me have that baby. You can watch me and you gonna see me as a CEO, devil. Watch me because you cannot touch me. The Bible says, touch ye not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Who is the anointed? You, 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 you. Somebody shout Jesus. Tell somebody I'm untouchable. I'm untouchable. Give somebody a high five and tell them I am untouchable. Tell them I am untouchable. Tell that neighbor, look at me. I am a living testimony. Look at me closely. I am for signs and wonders. The devil tried it, but he's failed. They tried it on my mother, but they failed. They tried it on my father, but they failed. Look at God. 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 God, they wanted me to lose my mind, but I ain't losing my mind yet. They wanted me to die, but I'm not dying yet. I'm gonna be around for a very long, long, long time. Look at God, look at God, look at God. Tell somebody, look at God. Anybody that wants me down is already down low. Anyone that wants my back to fall is a backbiter. Remember this, that your enemies are always behind you. They are never ahead of you or above you. That's why they want to pull you and they want to bring you down. Let me make a declaration tonight in the name of Jesus anyone that is planning your downfall let them die by fire you didn't hear me any human being that wants you to fall i stand in my altar i stand in my anointing they will die by fire they will die by fire they will die by fire shall fire five times fire 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 fire
You're going through problems because they know your capacity. They know how you're going to mess them up if you get that chance. That's why you've been struggling. That's why that sickness has been bothering you. That's why the doctor put you on medication. That's why that headache has been giving you headache because it has to slow you down because they are watching you. When you wake up, when you brush your teeth, when you make up, when you're in the bathroom, when you're in the toilet, when you're in the kitchen, when you're on the phone, they're monitoring you. They're watching you. They, they don't, come on son, they don't want to give you space to breathe. You see, destination, even on the aircraft, it will tell you, you have reached your destination so destination has to do with motion and motion is movement motion is movement destination is not reverse it is moving forward so he is doing everything to get to where he has to but they create spiritual obstacles to hold him back so they're doing all they can to stop him one year two years three years four years five years you feel you are at the same place they are monitoring you they are making sure they hold you back Dancer, come over quick I'm struggling come over Dancer. come quick he's too strong he's praying too strong help me so they double up they double up Caleb come you are heavier than us they're doing everything Caleb quick we can't let him break through so they bring another person but the more he prays the more we lose it the more he prays the more we lose it but when he stops we bring him back then he prays and we lose it oh god he doesn't feel like coming to church well we're a bit stronger oh, come over you're taller come quickly we need your help we need your help make sure make sure Emmanuel come quick look in the monitor tell us what you see he is the president of the United States oh hold him back and we wrestle now see if he can see the enemies see this strong man see this principality holding him see this tall boy he's trying to look cool but stand well stand well look at his height So, he can even see ahead of you. You are too short-sighted. The enemy can see ahead. No. Based on their computers. Your father almost made. Your mother almost. But there is no doctor body to teach like this. If they had a doctor body at Rock Hill Church, perhaps their mindset will change. But this one, it looks like he's getting where. <laughs> God said he must get. They're doing all they can to stop him. <laughs> so they hold his leg. See, we lose our job if he wins. 
we get demoted if he wins we fail if he wins see outside we are united but inside we're competing demons are united outside but in their camp it's who has power Can I be honest? I didn't feel like coming to preach tonight. Because I was just tired. Can't be bothered. I was telling Lady Daisy, I'm not in the mood. But when I think about my destiny and how many steps I've got left more, I've come too far from where I started from. I know they're watching me, but this is what I'm gonna do. child does that because that child knows that they can run and you cannot catch them so when your granddaughter grandson does they know that you break your waist when you're trying to catch them so God is watching but they're watching too. God watches his work to perform. So God has spoken and he's watching his words. But there are many adversaries that are in the way by right of monitoring. January, February, March, April, May, June, they watched your finance. They watched your health. They watched you. I don't feel like going to church. I don't want to go to church. I don't want to hear the word. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they feel like watching you. you. You're a point of interest to them. They're very interested. Interested. I, I feel so down. I feel so depressed. Dr. Biden, help me. I feel, no, 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 no. You see, the intensity of your attack should tell you the greatness that sits inside of you. The, hear me. The devil is not interested in waste of time. If you're waste of time, he would tell the people, don't waste your time on this one. Your children are under attack. Because the devil know that they are destiny changers. You are under attack because God knows. You better start fighting your battles on your knees. You better start saying Psalm 1 to 1. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence come at my help. My help comes. And you better remember that scripture that says, many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them and he gives his angels charge over you. So when they come, he pushes them up. When they come, he moves them up. When they come, he moves them up. When they come and he picks you up and reroutes you. Tonight, the one that watches over you is about to pick you up and take you to 
where you belong I see you at the top I see you arising high shout Jesus seven times watch everything you do then they send informations like the CCTV and did he put that, that screen of you guys background watch this watch this now they're sending messages what everybody is watching on Facebook is not what you are watching here so there is a control room here at Rock Hill Church. And the one behind the computer is the one telling these camera people what to do. So there are one, two, three, four camera men and women. But the one who sits in the main room is the one controlling camera one. Zoom in. Can I see clearly how much that wedding ring is? Camera one, zoom quickly. That wedding ring. Hey! Did you see? Are you looking? Which woman in our family has received this ring? Camera one, zoom in. Hey, that's why right now in church, when she's dancing, she lifts the left hand. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, God. Uh, yes, God. Then they lift the left. When Annie Slayton's husband came back, I, I've even seen the ring. I panicked myself. That diamond ring will bring enemies. So in her next counseling session, I'll tell her, my Dora, my Dora, this ring will bring too much enemies. And the thing is blinking. Ah! Camera one, zoom. Most young ladies who just got married, oh, holy, they lift up their left hands. Oh, holy. When they say, tell your neighbor, I love you, they take that left ring. I love you. When they say, give your neighbor a high five, that left, high five. Yes. Camera one, zoom in. What is it that is making them lift that hand? Oh. Let's go for that. Nobody in this household, nobody in this generation, is permitted to enjoy. What are you people do? Camera two, zoom from another angle. Is it fake or real? So the man values her to buy this expensive one. And you people are sitting here. Cause problems in that marriage. Bring her back to where she belongs. They are also what I wish I could open. If the devil, the devil has a manuscript, I want to read it. Because the devil's here, I'm back again, right? If the devil has a manuscript, I'd like to read it. Because every scripture of truth. The devil has an opposite. Wow. Like he who watches over Israel, the devil has one that is in their script. Jesus. Oh yeah. They have a manuscript. He who watches over Israel, let us also watch over them. And show that the word of God does not come to pass so that God will look like a liar. But the Bible says, I have never seen the righteous forsake. No, his seed beg. Oh, gosh. 
Some of you young ladies, that picture you put on Facebook, social media, that's what has brought the monetary spirit to you. Some of you young men, the car that you stood by to take that picture doesn't belong to you. You borrowed it. You only told social media you are blessed. See how broke you are now. There's a rule the enemy operates with out of sight, out of knowledge. If they don't know where you are physically, they cannot monitor you. So most of, somebody said, why don't you put your kids on social media? I said, I'm the superstar. It's not my children. Leave them alone. I can fight for myself and my children. They cannot fight for themselves. What do you need your picture for? Some of you, before, please sit down. Before, before, before the baby is born, the first scan, the first scan, first scan, Ladies and gentlemen, world. <laughs> Meet Deshaun. He weighs two pounds, three ounces, like the shape of watermelon. Thank you, Jaden. Play that for me. Da 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 da. Da 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 You didn't even tell your pastor. You didn't even tell anybody. You told social media first. And for social media, everybody watches you, but you don't know who's watching you. If you cannot protect the pictures you're putting on your social media, don't put it on there. If you cannot spiritually protect whatever you've put on there, don't put it on social media. Don't. Don't. So you are your own enemy. Who said they're interested in your pictures anyway? Who said they, they who said somebody is interested? Do you think any, everybody following you on social media is a real follower? They wish you were dead long time, you just don't know it. They're waiting to write RIP on your picture. Don't give them the opportunity to monitor you. Don't give them that privilege. Don't. Keep your private life private. Amen. Keep it private. Nobody really cares about you, to be honest. No, no, let me be honest. Who thinks somebody cares? They don't. In fact, the more they see you prospering, the more they can't stand you. Oh. My son Morgan brought a picture to me and said, Papa, edit it for me. I edited it for him. And I said, son, this will bring more enemies. Two days later, I said, Papa, they said I'm arrogant. I said, welcome to the club. <laughs> How does a picture you take in determine your arrogancy? No, they wished you were broke. They wished you were nothing. So for them to see where God has taken you, hey, we must pull him down. But nobody can bring you down. For what God has written shall come to pass. Tonight, anyone monitoring your destiny, perekusha, monitoring your finances, 
some of you your finances is going through a roller coaster because they know what you will do with it tonight whoever is on a contract to monitor them I crush them by fire I crush them by fire anyone monitoring your household monitoring your marriage monitoring your health today you are well tomorrow you are sick tonight in the name of Jesus I crush them now by fire by fire anyone sending information regarding your life anyone updating your enemies tonight in the name of Jesus let them die by fire you are not hearing me let them die by fire let them die by fire let them die by fire anyone watching your progress let them choke and die anyone that has said you will never prosper let them swallow their tongue let them choke and die I break their jaws I crush their jaws anyone that wants to see you down they will remain down you are not going 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 down you will not repeat history you will not repeat history their children their children's children their family will repeat history but as for you and your house you will serve the Lord you will praise God forever and ever forever and ever forever and ever you will praise God you will praise God your mouth will praise God your voice will praise God you will not be in the hospital you will not be in the mortuary but you will be in the sanctuary with your hands lifted up praising God I want two people to lift their voice and begin to praise God let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord let everything that has breath praise the Lord let everything that has breath praise the Lord bless the Lord oh my soul and all and all that is within me my hands my feet my legs my whole body my heart my tongue my hands with my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise with a voice of thanksgiving I will bless thee I will bless thee the fruit of my limbs will bless thee rock hill we will bless him rock hill lift your voice wherever you are open your mouth and let the enemy know that they failed let the devil know that you have a big god who is always by your side let the devil know that you got a God who is always by your side ladies and gentlemen I came to tell you in the month of August he is gonna walk with you he's gonna hold your hands he's gonna run with you he's gonna fly with you let everything that has breath praise 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 the Lord somebody lift your voice anybody open your mouth everybody scream lose your mind lose your mind lose your mind lose your mind open your mouth let the monitoring spirit know that they can watch you but the more they watch 
the more God lays a table before you in the presence of my enemies you laid a table you laid a table you laid a banquet before me I see your table tonight I see your victory your table is your victory your table is your victory your table is your deliverance your table is that child your table is your marriage your table is your healing tonight I see I see that table financial freedom 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 I hear chains breaking I hear the sound of abandoned rain 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 I see a release I see a release if you've been bound there is a release I feel an earthquake shaking the foundations of the building yeah yeah clap your hands open your mouth let the devil know that they can watch you but they cannot touch you they can watch me but you cannot touch me watch me but you ain't touching me somebody for one minute loose 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 your mind hey For one minute As you are clapping You are waging war Victory 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 Open your mouth Shout victory Shout it
They're hearing you open your mouth. They're watching you. Tell them it's over. Let them know that it's over. You are untouchable. You are unstoppable. You are untouchable. You are unstoppable. Devil, do what you can do. He who watches me neither sleeps nor slumber. You can watch, but his banner over me is a love, is a love. And the blood covers me. The blood covers me. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony. And they overcame him. And they overcame him. And they defeated him. And they overcame him by the blood. 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 By You're worthy to take the scroll and to open the seal. For you were slain and have redeemed us back to God by your blood. Out of every tribe, every tongue, every people, and every nation. And have made us a king and a priest unto our God. And we shall reign on earth. Tonight I decree and declare that every assignment of the enemy concerning your life is terminated by the blood. Let your amen be louder than your neighbor. Tonight I decree and declare that you are free to live. You are free to prosper. Tonight every monitoring spirit, every computer, every mobile phone spiritually that is sending signals, informations, let them catch fire. The louder your amen, the quicker the fire. Tonight, any connection made through bloodlines concerning your life, through bloodline, some of you are in a battle you don't know about because it started from your great-grandmother, great-grandfather. Tonight, he is a merciful God. I plead on the God of mercy. Let the mercies of God through his blood begin to speak for you. Somebody shout the blood. Shout the blood. Shout the blood. Now lift your voice and shout this prayer tonight. In the name of Jesus. Any spiritual mirror. Spiritual video camera. Spiritual computers spiritual cell phone that the enemy is using to monitor me and my destiny tonight as I clap my hands and pray catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire clap your hands and pray clap your hands and pray prayer warriors lift up the mind Zadabando kobo hortete, ibanda bahadiri andobe. Ibanda ya ba ya na ba, ibanda le 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 be. Bata ba ya na ba, bata ba ya pere ya ba, ibanda ba te pere, ibanda ba ya ba. Ba ya ta 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 na ba, roto po po to yo to. Ana plan tan tan na ba, shontani ya ka, kremi katosa, anta tiata, oko to yo, clap your hands, pray. Clap your hands, pray. Catch fire, catch fire, red pepper on this altar. Catch fire by the power of the Holy Ghost. Catch fire, catch fire, Reko Shatana. Rata Pakata, Lidatata, Orotoko, Shambaradaha, Rete Pepe, Soko Tayata, Apayata, 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 Clap your hands. Panda Baliana, Ipando Kobo, Panda Baba, Ipande, 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 Ipande
Rapanda by and Diaba, Imando Kobo, Pataya by and Diaba, Imata Paya Paya, Kati Pato Bobo, Rapanda Dabaya, Rapanda Dabaya, Rapanda Dabaya, Rapanda Dabaya, Rapanda Dabaya, Rapanda Rapanda Dabaya, Rapanda Imando Kobo, Poto Paya Paya, Panda 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 Set their gadgets on fire. Set their computers on fire. Now, 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 catch fire. Now, catch fire. Now, all the distracting monitor, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Breath. Now, Give and it shall be given unto you. Luke 638. If you love the ministry of Dr. Sonny Badu and would like to support Rock Hill Church, kindly send your donations online by visiting our website, www.therockhillchurch.org, and click the green Give Now button at the top right-hand corner. You can also give on PayPal to the Rock Hill Church at gmail.com or on Cash App, dollar sign Rock Hill Church with phone number 404-247-6460. God bless you as you give, for it is more blessing to give than to receive. Acts 20.